Hello, Craig here with a series of educational videos from thepreppersstop.com. We talk about freeze-dried food. A lot of people don't really understand fully what freeze-dried food is. There's dehydrated and there's freeze-dried, two completely different things. Dehydrated only brings the moisture level down to a certain level that you can do in your home in a home dryer. Freeze-drying is a process that's much more energy intensive. It brings the levels of water down to almost absolute nothing. It does it under a vacuum, under super cold temperatures, and it also locks in the nutrients when you do that. So the, the easiest way for me to describe this, the difference would be if you were to go to the grocery store, you buy something called banana chips. Most of you have had them. They're hard, crunchy. Do they taste like banana? Not all that much, really. It's kind of a banana flavor to them, but it's, that's the dried version. Now, freeze-dried version, for instance, these are banana chips, sliced bananas. And you put a freeze-dried banana chip into your mouth and immediately it starts expanding and becoming extremely soft just like putting a slice of banana in your mouth. Uh, you drive out all the moisture and you put it in an oxygen free environment like in this can then the food just generally lasts forever and, the easy, and it's so easy to prepare these things too generally with pouches because freeze dried comes in cans and pouches and usually buckets as well but usually the buckets have pouches in them. Here's a couple of examples of pouches. You tear open the pouch you put your boiling water right inside the pouch, zip it clack closed, wait about 10 minutes or so, and you're ready to eat a, an actual meal. Not just corn or rice or something like that, but in this case, long grain wild rice, wild rice, wild rice pilaf, so, or beef stroganoff. So it, com it comes in an already prepared meal, if you will, uh, just by adding hot water. If you have to use cold water, it just takes longer, but it can still be done. Uh, it just takes about twice as long if you use cold water. So freeze-dried food is about the easiest to prepare to where you actually have something that's of semblance of a real meal rather than just one single component. And unfortunately, though, that also makes it because the energy-intensive process of it, the packaging and all, it takes, it's the most expensive way. It's the most convenient, but it's the most expensive way for your food storage needs. But it has its all, all has its place in uh, your food storage uh, program. So um, let's see what else here do I want to talk about. It compares nutritionally better than say MREs uh, and canned goods from your grocery store. Freeze dried food locks in the nutrients much better so it's a lot better method of getting a healthier food as well even though it is more expensive. Uh, shelf life, uh, generally these pouches, uh, this manufacturer says seven years on this pouch, this manufacturer says 12 years on this pouch. You see the, the plastic is a little more permeable to oxygen and moisture, so over time it can start getting the moisture and oxygen sweat, so it can start degrading. Uh, number 10 cans, like you see behind me here basically, those can last, in fact this manufacturer says, definitely a 25 year shelf life minimum. Now that's if you store it in a relatively heat free environment. You don't want to store it in your attic or in the garage in the summertime. You want to put it in the basement or some or room temperature is fine. There's no other storage requirements, no refrigeration or freezing needed with freeze dried food. So that's the basics. Until next time, this is Craig from the prepperstop.com or forbiddenknowledge.info. Thanks for watching.